Hello and welcome to another video from S15 Studio. I would appreciate if you can like and subscribe and leave any video recommendations down in the comment section. And be sure to check out my website s15studio.com where I have courses on Revit and AutoCAD. I'm currently running a 50% off launch sale on my AutoCAD beginner to expert course, so be sure to check that out before it expires. Once you've gone over the system requirements and ensure that your laptop can handle the software, we'll then go to download the free trial. For the purpose of this course, we'll be availing of the 30 day free trial. If you already have an account with Autodesk, we'll simply sign in here. If not, we'll go to create account. Here we'll enter in our first name, last name, email, we'll confirm that and enter in a password. We'll then click to agree. Once you create an account, you then check this box to receive any marketing information and then click done. We are then asked to select your trial. Which product would you like to try? Today we're going to be looking at AutoCAD only. We'll select next. We're then shown the system requirements again. We'll then click on next. So how will you be using the software? For the purpose of this course, we will be using it as a business user. If you are a student or teacher, you attend a university which is recognized by Autodesk. This you can check through their website. When signing up as a student, you do have to provide your student ID and they will email your student email address. So if we sign up as a business user, we will then be given access with a 30 day free trial. So we'll then select our language. I'll be choosing English and next. Here we'll enter in the information about our company. If you are not part of a company, just simply type in personal use, enter in the relevant information. We'll then begin download. So down the bottom left hand corner, you'll see that the installer has downloaded onto my computer. So I'll then click on the icon to download and we can close down the browser. So we must agree to the terms and conditions set out by Autodesk. We'll choose where we want to install the software and typically yeah, see program files Autodesk is where we want it to end up. Click next. So we're being asked if we want to download the AutoCAD performance reporting tool. And what this does is it will log any issues that we're having and send them to Autodesk which will help the diagnostic team figure out the issues that we're having. So for now, I'm not going to install that. We'll then click on install. So I need to go ahead and restart my computer to complete the installation. So I'll do that now and you should do the same. Now that the software has been installed, it now appears on our desktop. So we'll open that up with a double click. Because I have the previous version installed on my computer is asking me do I want to migrate my custom settings. So yes, this is what I want to do. So what they have selected is what I'm happy with. So I'll tick to OK and continue on. So the migration was successful. I'll click yes. If you don't have a previous version installed on your computer, this won't appear. So now the software is opening up. So we'll be asked if we want to take part in a little survey. If you do, click on yes, I'll participate. For now, I'll click on no thanks. This will then open up the browser asking us, do we want to start our 30 day free trial or do we want to just go straight ahead and buy the software now? For now, we'll click on start trial. So after choosing the trial and agreeing to the 30 day subscription, we are then presented with the start. 